Hey fellas, something that gets requested all the time is that I do a quick rundown on my 12 volt system. So, I'm far from being finished with this 12 volt system. I've got heaps of big plans. But for now, I'll give you a rundown, show you where I'm up to. So, this is where I realized um, the tripod doesn't go high enough. Right, so to start off with, this is an upgraded battery for my start battery. I've got a supercharge, 810 cold cranking amps battery in here. Because I bought this car brand new, I was able to sell the standard battery within the first one or two weeks as a new second hand battery. And someone actually bought it for about 120 bucks. I don't know why, but I was stoked. So I bought this one for, it was about 180, I think. Awesome battery. Um, so I run my winch off this. You always want your winch running off your um, start battery because your alternator will top that up as you're winching along. Where if you do it off your second battery, um, your power will run out quite fast and charges are not meant to top up your battery that quick. So yeah, and then this runs down winch to this isolator here, on or off that's on there turn it off they're always good to have because people can tamper with your winches at the front and you do not want that i've upgraded both battery terminals and i've got these sitting on my own battery trays so these are generic battery trays which i probably wouldn't recommend like they were cheap they were easy to fit these are the genuine toyota clamps but they rusted out very very quickly all the paint was like real plasticky and thick and it all just fell off. This is a Blue Sea Systems terminal fuse block. So it's got the four slots. So what I run off this is 30 amp for the spotlights, which connects up to the Toyota harness, which we'll talk about later. And then the 20 amp, which is for my ignition relay, which I got power from over there on the um, wiper motor to here so this is my ignition stuff so what I'm running off that is my torque converter lockup kit and um, UHF so they run into the cab what else have I got here I've obviously rearranged all this the wing nuts are very handy if you need to tamper with something out in the bush if I need to do a quick reset any codes or anything as for this side that's probably about it and then we head over to this side this side, I've got an Amptec D70Z, which is another supercharged battery. They have the dual poles, so you can run it off there or there. So these are the same battery tray either side. These 2018 Prados can fit massive batteries in here. So 105 amp hours is heaps, and that just runs straight to the chassis there. And then this is my TJM projector. 25 amp hour charger so this is a three stage charger you can do multiple disciplines here gel AGM wet and calcium so the reason for these are they are different charging rates so different batteries require different voltages to actually force the energy into them lithiums are even higher again this is not capable for lithium but it is capable of solar so dual input, which my solar input is, let me find it, <laughs> in here. So you can get it in there, it's tucked away, it's, um, it's a bit out of sight, so people aren't going to touch it, which is always good. And then as for this, it runs over, the battery feeds into the charger, it's all tucked in nicely down in there, and then that wraps around. That's my charging in. So when I set this up a bit better, I'm gonna have some big leads running off here and here, all the way to the back of the car. We're gonna have another fuse block at the back. And yeah, but for now, that is about it for the front. Like I said before, I'm far from this being fully set up, but I've got my UHF and it is mounted in there. So that's where my UHF is mounted. Um, slings in under through here and then out the bottom seems to work quite well 
And then the other thing running from the front was the torque converter lockup kit. So here's my two switches, master on and off, high and low speed. And then I've got a few here for the future. The reverse lights, roof light bar, driving lights. So driving lights are set up, as we can see, very bright. I've got a lot to do. I'm going to convert this to auxiliary power. And then same with the inverter in the back. The rear is really not impressive at all. I've just got the standard inverter down in here and this little power board. So that actually charges stuff quite well for the meantime. I can only draw 100 watts off that, which that isn't a great deal. So yeah, it's good for charging stuff. It'll run the fridge, no worries. But yeah, that's just my fridge cord. Easy as that. Fog lights, they're on the standard circuit. All that's standard. I've got DRLs which are tapped into the blinker parkers. These actually run from the rear of the car. So, because this whole headlight on this 2018 Toyota Prado GXL and up is um, one CAN bus system. So, you can't tap into it. That's why it's got this intricate driving harness. And all the pickups basically done in here there's the um, trailer plug harness and stuff which I run my Kmart rear bar off so that all tees together and they both work very nicely so then I've got a harness running underneath all the way to the front one last thing I've done is upgrade all these interior lights to LED much nicer in my opinion